Hi everyone, Emma here. I have some lovely findings that I ordered from AliExpress that I'd like to show you. So I'm going to start out with these here. These are like crimp ends for your leather work. Um, you can also use this for like beaded cord, macrame. I mean, you can use it for whatever you want, but that's, I guess, the intention is that. Um, it's so I'll show you here it is a wee bit um, thin so just so you know I'll show you let me just adjust this here I'm gonna press it with my finger to see if I can squeeze that and uh, it's not too bad I can feel it moving Actually, no. That's, I'm impressed. So let's take a look with our tools. Let's see if I can move that at all. It's actually really strong. I'm impressed. So you could easily crimp your leather. You'd have to do multiple strands of leather because it's five millimeters this so and there's the opening so this is pretty good 200 in a bag they were super cheap I guess four dollars <laughs> that didn't do that didn't get in there at all I'm gonna move those over and they're really nice shiny uh, silver so I'm, I'm impressed I like that There we go. And from the same seller, I got this. This is um, a cabochon blank bracelet. And this was expensive. It was $4. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, oh, it's interesting because it says one on the description. But then it says accessory two strands. So that is, so let's take a look at what this looks like. Put it out here. It's beautiful. I really, really like this. And it's got quite a long chain so that it would fit anyone. And this is the, some better light here. This is the cabochon blank. That's what it looks like on the back. With the lobster claw. This is really nice. So this is the antique bronze. And as I said, there's two in the bag. So initially I was like, oh, I paid, I paid a lot of money. And actually these are pretty sturdy. Like they're, they look when I looked at them at first through the bag, they looked a bit uh, thin and flimsy, but they're actually really thick. Like you would have a hard time bending any of this. So um, I have some cabochons that size, I'm pretty sure, because that's why I bought it. Okay, I grabbed my button. I have been looking for these cabochons all week. Last week I did the same thing and I'm going to have to label these containers. I'm getting too much stuff. I think I know why I couldn't find it is I have beads in there that shouldn't be in there. So let's take a look at what we can put in there. Huh. Let's try this thing. Nope, too big. Ah, I found some. Perfect. So these are probably fit the um, cabochons that we get from uh, 
heartbeat. This is really, oh my gosh. I can't believe these really match. I, th you know what? I think I got these from Jill Wiseman in her garage sale. And it was just a random um, grab bag. And there was, I, I have enough to make this bracelet. That's crazy. Look at, I'm gonna flip that. These are beautiful. They look, when I saw them at first, let me move the camera down here. When I saw them at first, these cabochons, I thought, oh, I don't know, kind of funky. I love the color ch shifting that's happening. But uh, I'm thinking, when would I ever use that? <laughs> I'm like, this one's mine. Nobody's getting this one. Look at this. Let me show you the color on this one. That's wild. There we go. Instant bracelet. <laughs> Thank you, Jill Wiseman. So I got a bunch of uh, cabochons from her. And then I ordered a few and then some people gave me some. That's why I keep seeing these in the on the side and I think it's a bead one and not the cab one. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna put this aside. That is I can't believe instant bracelet and then I still have another one. So that's pretty cool. And then there's these ones. So let's take a look at these ones. Now I'm getting excited. I it's um in the evening, I'm not feeling too well. And uh, I was gonna head to bed but then I was like it'll drive me nuts knowing this stuff is on my desk and I haven't looked at it these are beautiful I can't believe these cannot believe let me see if I can grab the cabochons from Artie I should know exactly where they are I don't I, I think these might be too too small yeah these are too small okay way too small. This is what I was thinking about these these cabochons but they're too small. <laughs> so much for my uh, size, dimension, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so these silver ones are gorgeous. You know what? These are totally worth it. Because here's the thing too. If you don't want to um, use it like this in this configuration, you could always take it apart and use these as connectors because you just have the hole on each side and add your own type of chain. You could do, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So you could do six bracelets and just have one cabochon on each bracelet. So that is beautiful. Those are gorgeous. Wow, I'm going to be ordering some more of those for sure. Let me put that away. And let's move this out of the too. But we'll close it so it doesn't fall all over the place. And let's take a look at these guys. So these are closed jump rings. And I bought some of these from an Etsy seller. And I've used them all up. They are amazing. Oh, these are not uh, closed. So they're open, but you know what? They're nice and thick, the gauge. So that's what I was hoping for. They are really, really nice. Nice color. Shiny. So those will definitely be used. Then we have some of these. And look at these. So these are the antique bronze, and they're beautiful. Just 
is lovely. I was just doing a necklace today and needed one of these. And I was like, I know I have these. I've seen them. <laughs> They're sitting on my desk waiting to be unboxed. I'm getting mad at myself. Going, I know they're here somewhere. And I was trying to do a video and it I had an epic fail with the bracelet. So I ended up turning it off and going and having supper. I was like, oh, I'm done. This is not fun anymore. <laughs> so then I got some gold ones. So I'm glad I got some of these little really nice, thick, gauged. back in so they don't get lost since they were already lost they just arrived and they're already lost and then these ones are like the copper antique copper and they are beautiful yeah that's lovely you can feel the weight to them. Then we have these guys. So these are crimp ends for ribbon. And you can use them for other applications too. And these are really basic. Nice. So it has the... Let me... that so it has the uh, area to put your jump ring on and then this got the teeth it's really good so you can put your fabric or your cords or your leather and squeeze it shut and so again this looks really skimpy and thin but you know what I'm having a hard time pushing it down I can't push it down with my fingers so that's good that means they're Pretty sturdy. They feel pretty good too. I'm impressed. Then we have some of these. You can see there's probably 50 in here, if not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There might be 60. I will post. The information about these things the price the store the link these are lovely so these are the the antique bronze the, the bags are pretty sturdy too not that it matters I take it out and sort it and put it in containers these are gorgeous oh I can't wait I have some really cool stuff to show you all on how to make different things with these. So, I mean, you could do earrings with them for that matter, right? I think I saw um, Sarah Ellis and I didn't get a chance to watch the video. I think it's like the Friday afternoon beading that she does. And she made it, it was um, a piece of um, ribbon that hung down like a short distance like that and then something like this and some beads and whatnot and Bob's your uncle you've got a nice earring dangly earring then we have these guys so I got some of these I think through um might have been Michael's yeah, I think it was Michael's two strands of these guys, and they were expensive. So this is nice. Look at these. <laughs> gorgeous. Hey, they're pretty. Oh, they're hefty. I'm surprised. I thought they were going to be like a thin aluminum that you could probably squeeze in your fingers. But no, they're really nice. They are so beautiful. Look at that. So these would be great for um, winter themed bracelets, necklaces, anything. 
And you can use it for other stuff too. You can use it with miracle beads. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. These are really nice. Again, these are a reorder. I am definitely reordering these. And then the little ones. And again, I'll put all the dimensions, like the sizes and the t how many was in the package for the price. These are beautiful. Then I got some of these. So I think I've ordered these before. And they are amazing. These are probably my favorite bead cap mixes. Um, they have everything in it and there's lots of multiples of each one. They are so amazing. Like I could do a video just on these and I have the different, I have the silver and I have the um, gold in these. Like look at the pile of these. There's two of these lovely big ones. But to those, there's another one of those. So that's good. Like the big ones, at least they have two of them. Really, there should be four. Because if you're going to do a top and bottom of an earring, you'd want the... So I usually order these in sets of twos, these bags, for that reason. Because I'm hoping that this the second bag will compensate for any losses in the other. But these are beautiful. They're really well made and well detailed and heavy. Oh, look at this one. The, the, I've never seen these ones. And there's a bunch of them I just saw. Let's show you that one. Look at that. That is so pretty. one here I had to show you I used the other day and it's so beautiful it comes out looking different on the bead so that's these guys they're super duper But yeah, these are pretty. I think there's going to be a lot of reordering going on. Then I got some of these um, crimp covers. They're just basic crimp covers, but they are really pretty. Oh yeah, very nice. Exactly as expected. I would say they're nice and shiny. And beautiful. Silver. So at some point I must have said, geez, I need some of these <laughs> because <laughs> I'll have to show you. Um, yeah, you know what? I was probably running out of these guys, but I definitely have lots of this <laughs> and I have rose gold. So I'm not sure why I ordered them. Oh, the color is a bit different. More yellowy than pink. Maybe the size. I think that's what it is. These are super big. And they look really chunky and big. And I wanted something smaller. But I think I need something even smaller than that. That's probably what it was. <laughs> I'll give myself a break on that one. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Oh, and we've got some... antique bronze these are awesome these are really pretty my light is not that great there we go that's better these are beautiful they're nice and feel the weight to them lovely I'm trying to think because I have some of the I do 
<laughs> that was the one here that's getting low. But again, like I said, these are probably a little too big. Then we have these guys, these pinch bales. Big bag. Pretty amazing. And I ordered a bunch of these from Butterfly Beads and I paid for them individually. Now I think they came in sets of like four or so. And it was probably about 60 cents for maybe two or four. And you can imagine I bought a whole bag of these. There's like, I think there's a hundred in each bag and it couldn't have been more than three dollars. So I'm super excited. I really like these pinch bales. They're so lovely. They fit most things and they're nice and thick. The top part is a bit kind of cheap, but um, I usually take this off and put it on something else. Just attach that with a jump ring. So that is lovely. And then we have the silver. So now I have lots. You know what it was too? I was thinking every time I grab a heart, um, Swarovski heart, I've, I put one on just about every bracelet. So I ended up using up all my, this one's hooked. Oh, I see where it can go through. There we go. This is lovely. Now this one could be polished a little better. Like that one's shiny, but some of them, maybe it's just my lighting because it's at night, looks a bit like not as shiny as it could be. And I have some very fine steel wool that I can shine it up if I want to. And again, I'm like, for that price, super cheap. Let's take a look at these guys. I've got some more print bands. And these are the fold over print bands. Take a few to show you. And these are lovely. These are gunmetal. They have a really nice finish on them. And I got four different sizes. One, two of the bags have 50 in them and the other has 100 and they were $3. So they, that is a super duper deal. And I always find that they get the, so these are the three, the, there's three of the sizes. But let me get the small one out because I always end up needing really small ones and never think to order them because they look like there's nothing to them but you definitely need that for say two pieces of leather you would need something this small so these are these are well made they're sturdy it's hard to push it in so you'd have to use your tools there's these guys Then we have, oh, we got some, some more bead caps. There. Oh, and some more jump rings. Or pinch bales, I mean. These are the antique bronze. And they're lovely. Again, these are really nice. Great value. This is the way to buy them. There we go. We have some more goodies. So this is all from the same seller. These class, and I don't know if they have a, yeah, I don't think they come with the jump ring with it. This is what they look like. These are gorgeous. 
they are super super beautiful let me get a uh, closed jump ring to show you what that looks like here so i have different sizes here i have one of those it's probably going to be the bigger one I have lots of those. So, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be the smaller. I wondered about that. But I guess what you could do is put this on and leave it on. But then how would you get your necklace on? So it fits, but I guess you could just pull this out a bit. So you could get this on and off easier. Yeah, because that's not coming off now. Now with my little, poor little lobster finger. <laughs> okay. Those are awesome. Came in a nice big bag. And there's some silver ones. Look at that. These are beautiful. I love all the little lines. These are gorgeous. Then we have these. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this bag. This is loaded. There's there's got to be a hundred in here. Wow. These are super thin, but look at how spectacular these things are. Like I would use this as an embellishment on a bracelet, like a whole bunch of them. Let me see if I can flip them over so you can see. There we go. That's the crown. So these are lovely shells. So that's the one side. And there's the other side. So it's just basically like a pressed thing, but they're super beautiful. The definition in them are is incredible. So they're lovely. They're nice and delicate and color is beautiful. Very nice. Then we got some of these. Wow. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. Again, these are pressed some type of aluminum, I'm guessing. I'll have to check the description. They're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And you can see the size of the bag. So there's a ton in there. There's enough in there. There's too many to count on the camera right now. So I'll keep you posted on that. Wow, they're beautiful. So my intention, here's the thing. It's different on the other side because it's, it's a pressing. But you could always do this. Put them together this way. Like that. So you're going to loop the top with whatever jump ring or beading that you're going to do for, say, earrings. And then if you use this as your chandelier, then you would put some danglies here, 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 all the, all the way down the bottom. And that will hold it together. You can always kind of, oh, I, guess it's, I, I wonder if there's a couple of pieces in there. No, but this is what it looks like on the side. These are so beautiful. I still can't believe this. Wow. They are lovely.
And of course, I got the silver. Let's take a look at the silver. That one's bent. I'm sure it's easy enough to. This stuff's pretty firm. I'm surprised. I'm having a hard time bending this with my hand that I had my surgery on. There. It's good. Nice and straight. Wow, look at these. And because of the way they have these little beaded embellishment, they um they sparkle like crazy. They are beautiful. All the detail in these little filigrees. And this is what it would look like if you put it together. You'd have to kind of get them so that they're flat. So they'd hold together. These are beautiful. Wow. That. Last but not least, are you ready for it? <laughs> uh, this was a indulgence. Not like everything else is an indulgence. Look at these guys. These are hilarious. So I, again, I didn't measure correctly. These are a little big for what I was planning. But you'll see I have some other stuff after this to show you. Um, so let me see. These ones, some of them had different poses. So I'm just checking to see. So these, yeah, these are all the same pose. Look at this. The bunny rabbits are sitting. Okay. So I have some little tiny screws. And what I was planning on doing was drilling a hole through the top. And attaching that little screw that has an eyelet in it. And then using this as a pendant. Um, it would be cool if I could turn it into a bead by putting a hole through it. And use it as a fetish necklace. But uh, I'm sure we can figure out some ways to play with these bunnies. They're <laughs> hilarious. It has got his tail and everything. They're adorable. As my niece used to say when she was younger. That's totally adorbs, Aunt Emma. <laughs> and I would say, totes my goats back to her she's like oh don't say that so me and my wife Jen started all weekend we were there visiting we're like totes my goats Allie <laughs> oh boy send me a message on insta <laughs> catch up with me on insta <laughs> okay then we have these guys. So these guys are a little smaller. So this will work really well. Now this I want to make a cha-cha bracelet with. So a bunch of little duckies would be hilarious on a cha-cha bracelet. Or you could just put one on its own and, and put some other stuff on there. These are really cute. They're just having fun. Then we have these realistic bunnies. Look at these. Holy, so these ones are super tiny. So these would go really well. On a... The eyes are not painted in the right spot, I'm noticing. But that's fine, I would just put a dab of nail polish or paint, patina. There, so there's one that's painted correctly. But his ear is chipped a bit. They're kind of, I mean, they're... Not the best quality, but again, they were super cheap. Just having fun. Trying to get some, a bunch of little things like that, miniatures, so that I can um, do some fetish brace necklaces. And then these guys are, again, adorbs. 
Look at the big ears. They look funny now that I see them. They, I think the pictures uh, were a lot better than this because there's no way I would have ordered this. This is pretty crappy stuff. But if we suspend disbelief, <laughs> we might get, maybe paint a little pink nose on them. It might be different. That's what it looks like on the bottom on the other side. So there's our lovely haul. These I think the big ones were actually the best best bet, these guys. Ta da the bunny rabbits. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um I will uh give me a day and I will post the price and the amount of the uh, how many are in each bag. There we go. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video.